I'm so glad it's 2020 and I'm so glad I'm back here making more content for you guys. This video is gonna be about glam, like a full glam. Like I've done natural glams, I've done like 15 minute, like ready to school glams, but I've never done like an official like like full on glam moment, like like a transformation almost. If you're all about that or if you're just on here to see how the products work because I'll be using lots of new products and just seeing how they work and just talking about 2020 and like what my goals are and mindset so it's like a great ready with me so yeah that's what this video is going to be about so if you like that before we start please subscribe to my channel you already know um if you like this video give it a like and um yeah keep on watching so let's go I was out and about today I was doing grocery shopping so I feel like my skin's a little dry and I have naturally dry skin so what I'm gonna do is just give me a quick spritz of a good um, facial spray I like using it's by Mario Bariseku this is how she looks like it has aloe chamomile and lavender and so just three spritz and now my skin is gonna be very moist very wet um, it's gonna be ready for moisturizer and primer um, and I here have a product that is does both it moisturizes your skin and it's a primer and it gives you such a glowy dewy look and this is by first aid beauty this is the coconut skin smoothing priming moisturizer so it's a two-in-one it's a primer and a moisturizer and I love that because the less amount of time getting ready the better I already um, spend a lot of time doing my makeup so I like products that like take care of like it's just one and you're ready to go so we're killing two birds with one stone today. But I was really just out back home in Santa Barbara, I'm from Santa Barbara and I was really just spending time with family, spending time with friends, just being out and I really needed that because um, I'm not really from Lakewood, from Long Beach, and um, I don't know that many people from here. I don't know the area that well, and I just, I don't know. I was just getting bored out here. I was getting lonely, and I was so glad I went back home and like, I feel like I took like a complete vacation from everything and just was with my family and enjoying everyone's company. We are ready for some makeup. We are primed. We are ready to go. Before we start with foundation though, I'm gonna go ahead and color correct my mustache here and I'm gonna color correct my hyperpigmentation I have under my eyes and in this area of my face as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and get my Dragon Beauty Fire Skin Perfecting Potion. This is perfect for that. It has like a salmon orange color to it. And she might look a little scary at the begin in the beginning, but trust me, she does not bleed into your foundation at as, as at all. Like you won't even know she's there, and she really does a job of canceling any blue, purple um, undertones you might have. So it's perfect for me because I have like darkness, you know that five o'clock shadow. It cancels all of that, honey. And this is my trick to having a really, really bright under eye. Like without this, I don't have to go in with too much foundation, too much concealer, honey. We are good to go. And now that we did that, just gonna go ahead and get a brush and really work it into my skin, really press it. I'm so glad it's 2020 and new year. I really did a lot of mistakes in 2019. Like I was very immature. I wasn't really giving up like, I was just doing me, which was good too, but like I was doing me too much. Like I wasn't really focusing on the important things. So um, now I feel like I'm like, I'm seeing things in a different eye, especially after moving away from home. You just, your world completely changes, like new friends, a new school, a new job, like, a new neighborhood like it's literally such a shock to you okay guys now that i have color correct any of my five o'clock shadow any of my dark spots i'm gonna go ahead and try this new foundation i bought just the other week it is by laura mercy air 
This is the Flawless Lumiere Radiance Perfecting Foundation. And you know I love a very illuminated, hydrated, glowy, dewy type of look. I One, two. And then I'm going in with my beauty blender here and then just picking it up on the back of my hand and then really stamping it into my skin. Then I go in with the other side and I use the bigger side and I really pounce it onto my skin. I'm gonna do one more pump on the back of my hand. And this is the full glam. So this is a full coverage foundation. She's gonna cover everything and we're going full glam, so we're gonna conceal everything. We're gonna go in with a heavy contour. We're gonna throw in some lashes. The whole shabam, honey. Oh, don't forget the ears, guys. Don't forget the ears. Make sure you guys get the ears. Sometimes I see girls and they forget the ears and it's just, you can kind of tell they're wearing makeup because it's just not the same color. And so it kind of gives it away and be sure to get the neck as well. But do you guys see this foundation? Wow, she looks so lovely. She definitely feels very hydrating. Super hydrating. She doesn't feel heavy at all. Like if, if anything, it feels like a light foundation. But like the coverage right now, I'm living. And I did wet my beauty blender with um, water. If you don't want your beauty blender to pick up too much product, add some water and it'll really help. I always take my time when it comes to foundation because you're, this is really like your face. Like this is like your whole entire face you got on. It's like your new skin. So take your time with your foundation, really press it onto your skin and really stamp it on and make sure it stays in where it should be. Now I'm gonna go ahead and do a little um, cream contour and a little cream highlight. I'm gonna go in with my Fenty Matte Sticks. I have peach here to highlight and to contour. I have the color Mocha. So you guys are gonna see how I contour my face with cream contour and cream contours. I just feel like are, if you're really dry skin, um, these are gonna work so much better for you than instead of using a powder because it's really gonna be able to blend so much nicer and really make you go for a very dewy and hydrated look and very make you look very illuminated. So to highlight, I'm gonna start off and I'm gonna go in the center of my forehead, right there. And then I add some here because I get redness here because of my allergies. And then I'm gonna do like a triangle under my under my skin here. I'm still gonna conceal, but this is just gonna brighten. It'll like give me like a, a very snatched look. And I take it all the way up here, all the way up here because I want it to lift my face. And I take it back down and it's like a triangle. The Cupid's bow. I do the sides of my mouth and then my chin. And then I'm gonna add just a little tiny bit here. We are really just gonna transform this face and give me a very chiseled, I'm getting J-Lo vibes, like whole, I had plastic surgery type of glam. Like, you know, I'm gonna be beat as well. And I'm not even going out today, but I'm just like doing it for you guys because I really just want to share with you guys my full glam. For 2020, I wouldn't say I have resolutions. I have like a mindset. I have a mindset instead. Like I have a mindset of really getting this degree, of really um, dedicating my time to my YouTube channel, of really making better choices. So for my contour, I'm going in with the shade Mocha. And contour, I like contouring like this. And then I like 
like making my face more sharpened like, like I like extending my face out so what I'll do is I'll contour this specifically to make my chin more pointed and then I go in here my temples and then I also do my forehead and I really recommend for you guys when you do your nose contour to really go up right below your eyebrow right here where it begins because it'll really give it more of a natural a natural look like you'll unless because if you don't you'll just literally have two lines two dark lines like on your nose and it's gonna look weird that's why I really recommend to go up here up here so it looks much natural and so now we're gonna go ahead and conceal I'm gonna go in with my more natural concealer by Laura Mercier the flawless fusion ultra longwear concealer I'm almost out actually I apply that directly under my eyes and I look up and just lightly tap that under my eyes and then any of the excess I have I just take it up and do my entire lid so now I go in with my other concealer, the more brighter one. And this is the CoverGirl True Blend Undercover Concealer. She looks like this. I got her at Rite Aid. She was so cheap and she really reminds me of the Tarte Shape Tape. Like, I'm gonna add this in areas where I really wanna brighten. And notice I didn't put a lot because I re already highlighted it, but this is just gonna amplify it and really give me that full coverage, brightened type of look. If there's ever a time you should really press your skin hard and really use a heavy hand is when you're doing your base and your concealer because you really want it to stay on your skin and really press it on. Because this is your face, this is your new skin. You should really have two concealers. You should have one that's more your natural skin tone. And that one you want to use if you have any blemishes, any dark spots. And then you should use another one, a highlighter one. One that really brightens. That's like two skin tones lighter than your actual skin color. To really brighten up and um, make your face more highlighted. So I really recommend having two concealers that will do the job for that. What I like doing is before I move on to any powders, I really want to make sure because I did use a lot of products. We put in those, the contour, the highlight, um, the, the foundation, the two concealers. So that was a lot of product and I really just wanted for it to be pressed onto my skin and for it to not to look cakey and for it to last a long time. So what I do is before I do anything else is I really go back in and really press everything, make sure everything's um, blended together. Now I'm gonna go ahead and start powdering my face up. So I have this here, this is a like a powder puff from Laura Mercier and I really like using this to for my powders. And I'm gonna be using the Becca Hydra Mist Set and Refresh um, Powder. If you're dry skin, you're gonna love this. You can thank me later. It literally feels like water under your eyes or wherever you put it. And it really um, sets the makeup in place. So I love that and it's perfect for dry skin. So it's literally everything I need. Cause I hate those powders that really dry your skin up. And I don't know, it just makes me feel like I have so much makeup on. I really want a powder that's gonna make my skin like Feel like skin like i don't want it to feel cakey or crusty you know what i mean so i really recommend for you guys to try this powder and then what i do now is i just go ahead and fold the the powder puff i pick up some product and i really stamp my under eye so make sure to look up while you're doing this because you really want to get in those fine lines and really set anything there that way it doesn't crease nothing moves under there so now what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna take any of the extra I have on the cap and I'm really gonna go ahead and set this concealer I have over my eyes. So this is the Morphe M441 brush. She's a big fluffy brush like this. And just really just take it everywhere 
don't even be specific with this just really just set that makeup that's all we're doing so she is translucent we don't have to worry about anything and i'm gonna leave that there i'm not gonna brush it away because that's gonna catch any fallout i might get from any eyeshadow today's eyeshadow palette i will be using is by kristen dominique this is her berries and cream palette kristen dominique if you guys don't know who she is she's a beauty blogger on youtube she was one of the first youtubers i would watch um um about makeup tutorials and she was really somebody who inspired me to play with makeup and her looks are just so beautiful and she's just naturally beautiful too she's latina like honey like her vibes are just everything to me and this is her first product i got from her beauty line and i love this palette the shadows here are just so easy to blend like not that much fallout like the colors like literally are magic like they all go so well together this is the morphe m433 brush she looks like this i'm going in with this one here sweet cream and i'm gonna take that up on my eyebrow bone eyebrow bone to really make it more brighter i love having a very popped eyebrow bone because it really makes it pops that eyebrow bone and it really makes your eyeshadow you have right under it pop even more now i'm just gonna use my dry sponge i have here and really just get that eyeshadow i just used brush it off i'm going with the same brush but with a different eyeshadow now now i'm gonna start building up my crease here and with my crease i'm gonna go in with soft and sweet i'm going in with this light beige nude shade and what I'm going to do with this is I'm really going to define my crease even more. So I'm really just going to make it look like I have a large eye by making my crease more stamped and really more contoured. So let me show you guys. So notice I'm taking it from the very beginnings of my eyebrow to the very ends to here because I really want to make it seem that I have a big eye. And it's going to make such a big difference too when I have my lashes on. Always make sure to dust off any excess, that way you don't get too much fallout. Now that we did that, we're going in with the next color here. I'm going in with the color Toasted. This dark, like almost gray eyeshadow shade. And this is toasted so i'm going in with that brush i'm actually going to be using the same brush actually so and where i'm going to be placing this is in the crease and like half of my lid and then what i'm going to do now is i'm going to start taking any of the excess i have and lift lift up my eye by taking it up to like my eyebrow So I'm literally going directly from my lash line straight, like a diagonal line to the eyebrow. Cause that'll really like make my eye very sharp and very lifted. Now that we are done, what I want to do is I really want to blend those colors really well. And I really want to make it seem like there's no difference. You can't see where one starts and where another begins. So I'm taking a clean brush here and I use, I'm gonna hold it from the very end and really go in with the light hand and just do the same thing, just do windshield wiper motions. Um, and that's really gonna blend both of these two shades I have on and really make it like a nice, beautiful eyeshadow. So just like the same thing, windshield wiper motions. I'm not going in with a heavy hand. I'm literally barely touching my eyelid and that's really gonna make it all blend so much better. And now I want to add some pop of color. So what I want to do now is go in with this shade here, Bittersweet. She's such a nice like cherry purple pink. So cute. Um, so I want to go and play with that color there. And I'm going to add it literally all over my lid. So I'm going to use this brush now. This is the Morphe M456 brush. Just going to tap there and just apply her. And 
and I'm gonna be applying cherry juice now this color here and I'm gonna just keep using that same brush and where I'll be applying cherry juice is on my crease and on my lash line as well and just taking it all the way up to the end of my eyebrow This wouldn't be a full glam moment without some glitter, so not to worry, we are gonna add some glitter here. And the glitter I'm gonna be using is this shade here. I'm gonna be going in with Cranberry. She's so beautiful. Can I see that? You guys see that? It's so beautiful, oh my God. Okay, so now I'm just gonna apply that directly on the center of my eyelid and I'm gonna apply that at the beginning of my eyelid right here so literally like right here so and the best way to apply any type of glitter or very um like metallic highlight metallic highlight metallic eyeshadow the best way to apply any metallic eyeshadow is to just apply it with your finger directly you get way more color payoff and it just really like stamps on the eyelid much better i don't remember how much this palette cost me but i know um Domini cosmetics is in sephora her brand is in sephora and um like she has other beautiful palettes as well like she just released a new latte palette latte palette number two she already has her brand um out in sephora so if you guys really love this palette you guys could find it in sephora and um find this palette there and she has other palettes as well because honey like do you guys see that it's so beautiful so what i'm gonna do now is with that same color that i was blending the m uh, the m441 brush it's still clean so i'm literally what i'm gonna do now is just clean up any of my edges i have of the eyeshadow and really just try to buff it out and really blend it so that way it seems very natural and it's not too harsh I'm gonna go ahead and use this shade here, Sugar Cookie. Wow, she's really white. Okay, she looks like this. My lighting's a little too much right now. But she looks like this. She's like this very like light pink, but like a bright light pink. So I'm going in now with that Morphe M431 brush. She's very pointed, very small. And now literally where I'll be applying her is literally right in the inner corner of my eye. So right here. And then I'm gonna apply some more on my eyebrow bone. Ooh, I'm loving this look. Okay, so just wait till I put on lashes and then it's gonna like literally, literally all come together. But before I do that, I wanna go into my waterline and darken up my eyes. I'm gonna go in with a very dark black color here. So I'm gonna go in with the, this is the Maybelline New York Master Precise Skinny Gel Pencil. She looks like this. And I love this one. I really recommend you guys to try this one out. It's You can find it at any drugstore. And it's so small. It glides all over on your eyelid. It's so beautiful. It works so well. Um, I have very sensitive, uh, I have very sensitive, sensitive water, eye, water line. So um, it has to be like a very thin, not too harsh because it just feels so close to my eye. And um, it's literally so perfect. So I'm just gonna take her up on my upper eyelid and then on my lower one. I do wanna say that if you do use a black color on your waterline, it makes your eyes smaller. So if you're trying to make it, your eyes look bigger, like doll baby eyes, like don't use a um, black one because it'll just make your eyes seem more shorter and more small. Okay, so now let me pop on some lashes. Do you guys see? what the huge humongous difference a lashes do to you like they make me feel like the baddest perra the baddest perra ever so now i'm just gonna go ahead and 
mix my natural lashes to my falsy lashes. So I'll be using the Dior Pump Volume Mascara. She looks like this. She has been used a lot, clearly. She's been through the gigs, honey, because she is such a good mascara. She is by none other than Dior, honey. So obviously she's so good. And now I'm just gonna go ahead and make sure my real lashes and my false lashes are just really mixed in well together. So since I have like some extra powder on sale, what I'm gonna do is I'm literally gonna just um, stamp it onto my skin. And I'm using the Morphe M405 brush. And I'm just gonna stamp and swipe at the same time. Any of that translucent powder I had on and just stamp it but also like swipe it the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil bronzer she looks like so and I'm gonna go ahead and warm my face up because I be looking like I don't tan at all when I am Latina and I should be tanning and I naturally have tan skin so let's go ahead and ah oh, smells so bomb oh my god so okay Oh, and I'm using the Morphe M527 brush. And just go ahead and start warming up the face. So I know we contoured already, but this is just gonna bring more warmth and just bronze up my face. It's... Whereas the contour was really meant to like give me more structure and define my natural features more. This is just really to bring more, bring my, bring my, bring more life back to my face because it was a full coverage foundation so I don't want to look too bland with that same bronzer I'm gonna using the M the E62 brush so she looks like this she's perfect to bronze and I literally just bronze just a little bit over here Now I'm gonna go ahead and go in with my blush. I'm gonna use this blush sample I got from Sephora the other day. This is the NARS Orgasm Collection. She's such a beautiful, oops. It's such a beautiful pink and she has like some gold shimmer to her. So it's beautiful. I'm using for blush the Morphe E4 brush. So I'm just gonna tap her in. I feel like anything from NARS is so bomb. I like to give my brush all my blush all the way up here. Cause I really want a nice, beautiful cheekbone that's lifted. A little bit here on my chin. Some on my forehead. A little bit on my nose. I like doing my brows at the very end because I feel like um, with the foundation and concealer and the powders and the whole eyeshadow going on, I feel like my brows get lost and they just don't look as good as when I first started them out. So that's why I like doing them off at the very end. I like doing my eyebrows at the end. I know that's something people don't really do. They start off with their brows, but because mine are so big and they take such a large portion of my face, like they really have to be defined because they're just, they stand out so much. And I have big eyebrows. Like they're definitely not feminine eyebrows for sure. They're not like, like arched and slim. They're like more bold and bigger. So I'm going to be using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz Pencil in the color dark brown. And what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to go ahead and just outline the shape of my brow. So I'm not going to go into the center of my eyebrow. I'm just going to go ahead and literally just carve my brow. Now that I did that, I just go ahead and go into where I have any light spots and just go ahead and just making some natural hair. Okay, so now that I did that, I'm just gonna go ahead and use this spoolie and just blend everything.
and voila, that's how I do my brows. Period. That took like two minutes, I think, because I don't really got to fill in anything. I literally have so much brow. It's, uh, it's crazy. When I don't take care of them, they literally look like two giant caterpillars on my forehead. Like, it's, it's bad. We are almost done here now. We are just gonna go ahead and brighten up this face even more. So to brighten up my face just one last time and really give me more of a, like a filtered look and really fill in any of those pores that are, might have been still there or if anything looks just cakey a little bit, I like using this brightening powder that's gonna smooth everything out and really just melt everything together and just like it literally just does a filter onto your face it's crazy but it's one of my favorite products it's by dragon beauty the dragon heart transformation face powder and i'm gonna go in with the opal pink here and i'm gonna go ahead and just press her right under my eye it really makes such a huge difference it really brightens up the eye it really brightens up just anywhere you put it honestly Drag it all the way up to here. Because I want to get like that nice definition. And then I go in with this yellow topaz color here. I go in pretty heavy with this one. And then what I'm going to do now is instead of baking this area here, I'm literally instead to brighten that area up, I'm going to use this product instead and literally just carve like make a, uh, a nice defined area right here. So from here to here, that's where I'll be applying it. Hopefully you guys can see how much she brightens up and really just, it's crazy. She's just, this product is just, oh my God. It literally snatches your face and brightens it. This is the MAC Croc Cork um, Lip Liner and it's so good. It literally is such a good lip liner. MAC has some bomb lip liners out there. I recently have been loving the L'Oreal Lip Lipsticks. So I'm going to be going in with the color 840. It's Nature's Blush. Got this at Rite Aid. She's a drugstore. And I'm gonna be using this as my lipstick. The Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. And then I go back in with my Beauty Blender and stamp everything once again. Really melt all those products together onto my skin. I'm gonna be using the MAC Highlight, the Blaming Blush Extra Dimension. I'm gonna be using it with the Morphe M501 brush. So at the high points of your face, so here. Right here is where I like applying some highlight. And then I bring it down to here. And I like adding highlight on my ears as well, the very ends of my ears. All right, now we are done, honey. Do you guys see the whole transformation that just took place? Like that was literally a legit transformation from starting to end. You guys, I want, really want you guys to get into this eyeshadow look though. Like it's literally everything. And that is that. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you guys learned a few tricks and saw this full glam moment I had going on. Um, really happy to have made this video for you guys. I, I know that 2020 is gonna bring a lot of good things to you guys, lots of health, happiness, lots of um, just overall good things, you guys. I really wish you guys the best. Thank you so much for watching this new makeup tutorial with me, a full glam moment. Day and don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel for more videos to come and 
hit that notification bell that way you get notified of every video i put up and just wanted to tell you guys wish you guys a happy 2020 and wish you guys the best and to keep on going after it um, whatever you ambition for, that's really something that I'm really taking into consideration. Uh, this year, I'm really just going to go after it. I'm not going to let anything stop me. I'm going to go after everything I want and everything I ambition for. So that's something I really encourage you guys to do. So go after whatever you want. Don't, lo don't let nobody ever tell you no. We can do whatever we set our mind to do. So, yeah. But with that note, thank you guys so much for watching and catch me on my next video, okay? Bye guys!